In the summer of 1940, the German army was intensively preparing for Operation Sea Lion, the invasion of the United Kingdom. The immense task of converting hundreds of inland river barges into proper landing craft began, but the Kriegsmarine, so the German Navy, was unable to give the army a date for their availability. Anxious to begin landing exercises, German engineers searched the French countryside for materials with which to construct self-propelled ferries. Fritz Siebel was an aircraft designer and a Luftwaffe officer and he was also asked to help because of his engineering skills. Before the war, Siebel developed the Siebel SE-204, a twin-engined light transport and trainer aircraft which was widely used by the Luftwaffe during the war. Siebel became interested in the question of how to ferry troops and heavy equipment across the English Channel. He built a prototype with two heavy bridging pontoons spaced six meters apart in a catamaran arrangement connected by steel crossbeams. In the center, mounted on a pyramid-shaped truss work, were two surplus aircraft engines and to end. A party of army officers were invited to witness one of the tests, but they were unimpressed by the ferry's performance. It could only make four knots. Despite the army's misgivings, Zebel continued working on time. A large steel platform covered with wood planking would serve as the vessel's cargo deck and also provided strength to withstand operating on the sea. Zebel settled on a combination of four 75 horsepower engines, two each mounted side by side in the aft end of the pontoons linked to standard marine propellers. In August of 1940, the new Zebel ferry was tested. It attained a maximum speed of 8 knots, approximately 15 km per hour. The Zebel ferry pontoons were flat bottom and square in front. In combination with the vessel's wide cargo deck, this made for an exceptionally stable gun platform. The Luftwaffe mounted various sized flag pieces on the ferries and tested their suitability for engaging both air and surface targets while at sea. The versatile 8.8 cm guns proved well suited for this role. Series production of the Zebel ferry began in September of 1940, and by late September, 25 of these craft were complete. For Operation Sea Lion, the Luftwaffe organized the Zebel ferries into two small flotillas. Their aim was to provide flank defense against air, ground, and surface targets for the first German invasion wave. The tactic was relatively simple. Each Zebel ferry could transport a complete flag battery plus their prime movers. Upon reaching the invasion beaches, the ferries could link their flag units, then assist with unloading to larger steamers. The German army even referred to the Siebel ferries as destroyer substitutes. With its simplicity of design, good seakeeping, and ease with which it could be disassembled and shipped via rail or truck to virtually any point on the continent, the Siebel ferry proved a useful and adaptable amphibious vessel for transporting troops, vehicles, and supplies across open water 
were ever needed by the German army. It was also easily configured to serve a variety of purposes, from mine laying to convoy escort in the Mediterranean, Baltic and Black Seas. When Sea Lion was finally abandoned in October of 1940, the Luftwaffe decided in the fall of 1941 to continue producing Zebel ferries independently of the army under its Ferry Special Command. Some of these vessels were assigned to the army and operated with mixed crews, but the army disliked the use of aircraft engines, claiming they were prone to catching fire and consumed excessive amounts of fuel. Nevertheless, the Zebel ferries were not only used until the end of the war, but continued performing after the war's end in 1945.